how would Yachiro Unohana do against his turn Richards? I'll make this simple by using Kenpachi Zaraki as a mode of comparison. After all, Kenpachi Zaraki directly fought Unohana, then went to fight the Quinces. Alongside Byaku Yakuchiki, Kenpachi Zaraki was able to cut down Yami Yarko. In fact, being able to inflict damage upon Kenpachi and Byakuya was proof of Yami's zero position. During the early stages of the Thousand Year Blood War arc, this menace would go on to defeat three Stern Richards by assaulting them with pure physical force one after the other. A common misconception surrounding these three Stern Richards is that they are fodder. However, they are all intended to be kept in class. You might have also realized that the usual calm and collected Jugram Ashwalt found the prospect of Kenpachi defeating those three Stern Richards quite disturbing and directly called him a freak for being able to accomplish that. To further support my point of these Stern Richards being kept in class, judgment is brought upon them whenever they lose against captains. After all, they spent years in the shadows building their strength to combat the captains. And yet Unohana saw this Zaraki as powerless even without his eye patch. And after exchanging blows, she would further confirm that he is in fact weak in comparison to her. She would then go on to defeat the same Kenpachi countless times. And despite Zaraki's strength increasing with each restoration, she would use her energy to heal him in between clashes. Her objective was to push Zaraki to remove the psychological barriers he had on his power, to restore the strength he once possessed as a child. And although Kid Kenpachi was still stronger than her and his strength would eventually overtake hers, in terms of fighting power they were actually comparable. In fact, as Unohana recalled, they were on the same level. But Zaraki's strength edged out above hers and he would have eventually won if he didn't subconsciously restrain his power. After eventually defeating Unohana, this was a level of power Kenpachi Zaraki regained. If Zaraki could defeat these three stern richers before facing Unohana, with her fighting prowess she would slice them apart like butter. Now there is no proof that Lloyd could copy the abilities of someone at the level of Unohana, but even if we assume that he could copy her skills and power, she would still gain the advantage with other aspects such as intelligence and battle IQ, possessing higher raw intelligence than the likes of Shinsui Kiraku. Zaraki could also fight Gremi in base form with his eye patch still on. This is important as this present eye patch absorbs 10 times the amount of energy as the previous eye patch, which makes this base Kenpachi who initially faced Gremi more than 10 times weaker than the Kenpachi who defeated Unohana. And as Unohana was on the same level of strength as this base unrestricted Kenpachi, she would actually be more powerful than this base eye patch Kenpachi in these panels. I'll avoid talking about Shikai Kenpachi as they have a full upcoming video for him. Base eye patch Kenpachi was also able to slice into Gerard's arm, the same titan who had grown enormously in terms of spiritual and physical power. A complete and utter monster of a stern richer, who could not be cut by the initial stage of a post-royal palace Byakuya's Bankai, could effortlessly one-shot multiple captain class characters, and in comparison to his raw might, their reactions became so small that according to the Kanfir own world novel, he could ward off superficial Bankai with pure physical might. In his base form while wearing his eye patch, Kenpachi could stop Gerard from stomping him and Toshiro, inconceivably stopping and holding up the giant's foot before completely toppling him over. He could also withstand being pushed back through the city after attempting to slash Gerard's giant shield, and after removing his eye patch, he would go on to match Gerard's speed. Although the likes of Unohana would not be equal to these monsters, and would certainly have less power output than this Kenpachi in Shikai, she is still within the tier of power to withstand and fight against the level of force and spiritual power, as well as the speed of this Kenpachi without his eye patch. As a result, I'd rank her fighting class around Shutsafa level, with added benefits like maxed out intelligence, mastery over Kido, accompanied by the ability to heal her own injuries in the fight. The Kenpachi from the original Gote 13, with observation skills praised by the likes of Aizen, mastery over countless sword styles, accompanied by the declaration that she was the strongest captain at the time of Genryusai's death, and her enormous spirit energy reserves, it does make sense that she should scale this high among the Quinces. So I would rank her at Shutsafel class. Cheers.